a new life online and in the building. Make some, Make noise. some noise if you're in the building. We are so excited. We got so many saints here in the building today. It's great. It feels great to it have people great. here. It feels like church again. Yeah, hey, I mean, God is always in the midst, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to have you all here in the building and online. Thank you for joining us this Sunday. We are getting ready for our 930 service, right, Tom? Yeah, yeah, and 730 was amazing. Yes. The word was crazy, and we've got a lot in store for 930. So buckle up your seatbelt, get ready, because we're going up. Yes, we are. So let us know, those of you all who are streaming, let us know where you're streaming from. We're happy to have you. We know that we are worldwide. We're global. Yeah. So let us know where you're streaming from. If you are online and you got a friend that you know isn't up yet, go ahead and send them that text. Send them, uh, call them on the phone and say, hey, you need to get up and tune in to service at 930 on New Life uh, on the app, right? Yeah, they can the go app. on the app. They can go on YouTube, Facebook, YouTube. Facebook, everything. You got a lot of options to, <laughs> to be able to tune in with us. So join us. Yeah. So Jess, how is your weekend going? My weekend has been fabulous, Tone. Thank you for asking. Something happened yesterday, didn't it? Something did happen <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was my birthday. Yeah. So I'm celebrating my birthday weekend. Happy birthday hey. to you. Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much. So it's been a great weekend so far, but I'm really excited that it is Memorial Day, mm -hmm. and we want to acknowledge the fact that we are celebrating Memorial Day in honor of our military service men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice. So let's keep that in mind tomorrow. I know that we're off work. The office is going to be closed tomorrow, yep. but um, we just want to keep that in mind in the midst of celebrating and spending time with family because I know it's been a long time for some of us for uh, being with our families. Yep, and a long time for some good barbecue, too. Yeah. That's Ooh. what I am ready for. <laughs> what, what's your favorite barbecue, Tom? I think uh, some rib tips. Ooh, that know, sounds good. Are you getting on the grill, Tom? Um, I'm still learning. Okay. All right. Okay. He's got to grow <laughs> me up in that area, but we're still working on it. <laughs> okay. What else is going on? We've got 12-hour prayer coming up on June the 11th. Get excited. This is my favorite New Life event. Yes. So if you have not registered, we need you to go to 1212hourprayer.com to go ahead and register. Get your seat if you come into the building or get your spot online to register for the conference. And we just had something to drop over the weekend where we're doing a 12 for 12 fast where you can fast with us from May the 30th to June the 10th. So we want you to go to 12hourprayer.com, register, and then tell us what day you are fasting on the website as well. So that's starting today, right? You said yeah. May 30th. May the 30th starting today. I can today. remember what today's date was. <laughs> but you bust me out, so we no, don't be No, 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 no. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm just thinking about the fact we were just talking about barbecue. So, uh, I mean, you yeah. know, we can people can fast until 3 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, if you're Maybe. doing it tomorrow. Yes, yeah, yes, that would be awesome. But, yes, of course, we want to get into that mindset, into the spirit, welcome to the spirit um, for that prayer conference because it's going to be amazing. It really is. Yeah. And don't forget, at 1230, we have Val Warner joining the Identity oh, Team yes. Ministry. That's going to be amazing. She's going to be talking about her journey to success and what she went through and everything like that. So tell your teens, get them to log on at 1230. We've got the link on the app. We've got the link on the website. We want everybody to tune in. Even if you're not a teen, go ahead and just log in for a minute. Check it out. And if you do have kids, bring your teens to that service so they can check it out. I think it's going to be great. I, I saw a preview about that. Somebody was dressed up as yeah. some type of character. I don't know who that was that was spraying and doing all of that extra stuff. But I think it's going to be great, and I'm really excited for the teens to have that experience. But just once again, this is a reminder that because tomorrow is Memorial Day and it is a national holiday, our corporate office will be closed, and they will reopen on Tuesday, June Hallelujah. 1st. I hear some people in the crowd that are some employees of the church that Praise are Lord celebrating for the staff that can so stay at home you all Monday. enjoy that day off okay <laughs> Yes, and also we want to remind you that we had an amazing time this past Thursday giving away 1,000 boxes of food. Glory if you're in the building, God. if you're online, can you just clap it up for clap that? Up we for gave that. away so many boxes of food amazing. to those that are in need, amazing. to those that just were driving by. Hey, I took a box home. It was amazing. It was milk, hot dogs. It was all kind of stuff in that box. It was amazing. We're going to be showing a video of that after our NLC Inside commercial in just a few minutes, but we just want to shout out our outreach team for doing such an amazing job week by week with all of the things we're doing into the community. Awesome, and we're just blessed to be a blessing, right? Yeah, That's yeah. what you all are pouring, pouring into is to be for us to be a blessing. So we are getting ready to start service. Yeah. So we want you all to uh, sit back. Actually, don't sit back. Stand up. Get excited because we're going into worship soon, and the NLC Inside starts, starts now. now.
Happy Sunday and welcome to New Life Online. We are so happy that you're joining us today from wherever you're watching from. Help us spread today's message by sharing this stream on your social media. Service is about to begin, but first let's take a look at a couple things coming up. Join Identity Team Ministry for an awesome check-in and prayer every first Friday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Zoom. Tell a friend and we'll see you there. The care team is developed just for you. The pastoral care team is designed to help provide spiritual guidance, prayer, and support in times of need. For a listening ear and guidance, reach out at any time by calling 773-272-1750. New Life. Juneteenth is around the corner and we are so excited to be doing our part with the celebration. Join us for a day of service for our first annual cleanup from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Meet us at the Tabernacle. Come and bring the entire family for a day of cleaning, community, and celebration. Food and music will be provided. The New Life Green Thumbs Gardening Ministry will be hosting a community gardening event Saturday, June 12th. Come enjoy planting new trees and fresh veggies at our garden on 78th and Dobson, across the street from the tap. This event runs from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and we'll see you there. New Life College students, we are kicking off the summer in style with College Connection for an all-white all day, day party. party. Meet us Saturday, June 12th from 3 to 5 at the Sage Room on 67 East Cermak. See you there. Hey singles, it's time to shed those pandemic pounds. First Love Singles Ministry will be launching their five days of virtual fitness. Join them as they celebrate health and fitness for the entire month of June. They'll be sharing fitness tips and fitness success stories. Meet them on Facebook. See you there. In partnership with Chicago Volunteer Legal Services, legal representatives are available to offer free legal advice to those who meet certain guidelines. They provide advice in the areas of tenant law, family law, fraud issues, and criminal record expungements, and more. If you're in need of legal help, sign up for our next session via phone appointment. Sign up at newlifesoutheast.org or the New Life app. Mark your calendars. Pastor John F. Hanna presents the first ever hybrid 12-hour prayer conference. Get ready for 12 full hours of prayer, mentorship, worship, and more. Featuring Pastor Tasha Cobbs Leonard, Pastor William Murphy Sr., Pastor Sam Oye, Pastor T. Renee Glenn, Pastor Tamara Bennett, Sharday Martin, Pastor Nathaniel Bassey, Derek Hawkins, and Barbara Calloway, and two full hours of worship with Phil Thompson and Miranda Curtis. It's all happening June 11th. Register today at 12hourprayer.com for access to limited in-person attendance. Wait, did I mention that you'll be able to re-watch the conference for seven days? Register now, 12hourprayer.com. He added to the church daily, and that is Bible. For 17 years, someone has always gotten saved every Sunday, every service. Even in the midst of the pandemic, God continues to blow our mind. Guess what? You, my brothers and my sisters, can be added to that role. Continue to invite your family and your loved ones, because every Sunday, every service, he added to the church daily. Thanks again for worshiping with us today. Don't forget to meet us back here online this Tuesday night for the Afterglow with Pastor Jamon Glenn at 8 p.m. and on Thursday for Bible study with Pastor John Hanna at 7. If you miss anything, you can find these announcements and more by downloading the official New Life Southeast mobile app. Have, Have an, an awesome, awesome week. week. to your feet. Yeah. Those in the building, those online, can we get you to begin to share? Can you begin to share? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you and we thank you for today.
that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We honor you for the moment that we get to stand in to receive your word. But we honor you, God, for the ability to give you what you deserve, which is praise, glory, and honor our lives, God. Let your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Can you just release a sound in the building? Hallelujah. Greet the people online and tell them hallelujah. Those of you that are joining us online all around the world, good morning. Good morning to you. Can you give a clap emoji all the way across? We're going to fellowship together, one on each side. We thank God this past week, man, what you saw in that last video was 1,100 Amazing. boxes of groceries good groceries Amen. that we gave to the community new life you're doing the work and we give god praise for that to god be listen want to make sure that you know val warner she is a television host in our local in our city chicago's own val warner of windy city live will be with the identity team ministry as a special guest today at 12 30 make sure you got teenagers that they log on and listen and learn on the app or the website listen if you haven't done it already which i know thousands of you already 12 1 2 hour prayer is coming up yes what a lineup it's a prayer conference has mentoring classrooms worship time heaven is open y'all and god's in the mood for answering prayers we just gotta ask and it shall be done Hallelujah. in jesus name listen capitalizing on that same moment and momentum pastor john of hannah still has a number one book out there called pray it's in the top 10 on all platforms you can get it everywhere can you just type pray 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 can you just say pray 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 how many of you know god answers prayers and congratulations on this, man. This Thanks, is awesome, man. awesome what oh, God, God is doing in your life. New uh, new life, our corporate office is going to be closed as we uh, tomorrow deal with Memorial Day. Listen, make sure that you enjoy your family and your friends. As Pastor said earlier, eat, but it ain't your last meal. All right, glory be to God. Praise team is going to come now. I'm so happy my sister is here from Grand Rapids. She's going to be singing with New Life Worship Team. Can you get your praise up before the song drop? Let me hear you in the building. Open up your mouth and release. Hallelujah. To give God what belongs to him. Pastor Hannah is coming immediately after this, so get your heart ready to receive. Let's go. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands and give him glory in this place. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Somebody ought to open up your mouth and bless his name. We magnify you, Jesus. Come on, somebody say, we need, we need your spirit, your spirit pouring it pour out. It out on us. Oh God, we need revival, revival stir it up. It up. Come on, say, oh we just want you. We just want you.
God, we desire you. We desire your presence. We desire your anointing. We desire your grace, God. Hallelujah. We open up our mouths, God, to give you glory, to give you honor, to magnify you, to exalt you, God. We lift you high. We lift you high. Yeah. On the inside 
Desperate people, desperate people, lift your hands, open your mouths, and let that be your request today. Fill me up. Come on, let that be your request today. Yay. Come on, a few more seconds. Can I hear the sound of desperate people in the building? Glory. Glory. Yeah. Oh, oh God. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Yes, God. I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Yeah. I'm hungry. Come on, tell God. And I'm thirsty, yeah. I'm hungry, yeah. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. Come on, you say it. I'm thirsty. Tell him. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, Jesus. I'm hungry. Anybody want more of God? I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. And I'm thirsty. Come on. Thirsty. I'm thirsty. As the deer pants after the water broke. I'm thirsty. My soul is thirsty I'm for you. I'm thirsty. Come on, y'all. Lift your hands and say, I'm thirsty. Take it. I'm thirsty. Hey. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I don't want a position. I'm hungry. I want more of God. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I don't need fame, I need more of you. Come on, tell the Lord, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. And I'm hungry. And I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. And I'm hungry, God. And I'm hungry. Feel every void. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. God, I'm hungry. And I'm hungry. And I'm desperate. And I'm desperate. I'm desperate. And I'm desperate. Come on, y'all. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I got up to get in the building because I'm desperate. I came in the building because I'm desperate. I logged online because I'm desperate. I'm desperate for you, God. I'm desperate. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. And I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. And I'm desperate. I'm desperate, and I'm desperate, I'm desperate, let your praise reflect your desperation, I'm desperate, I'm desperate, I'm desperate. let your body language reflect your desperation, let your body language reflect your desperation, I'm desperate, I'm desperate, God, I'm desperate, I'm desperate, God, I'm desperate, I'm desperate, God, Desperate. Lift your hands and worship the God I'm that desperate. you're desperate for. Yeah. 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 Anybody need God to do something for you? Yeah. Yeah. Only you can fill this void. You can feel this voice. Come on, we're gonna move. Everybody clap your hands and tell the Lord, I'm desperate, I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty. Come on, y'all, tell the Lord, I'm desperate, I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty. Yeah. Let's stop. Put that on the screen. If you're hungry, say, I'm putting that on the screen. If you're thirsty, put that on the screen. If you're desperate, put it on the screen. If you want all three, put it on the screen. Wherever you are in this life, I need it to come out of your mouth. 
looking at a screen you in the house of the Lord you just can't come up in here and sit like you in your living room but if you come and enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into it you got to retrain yourself to begin to give God glory hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. glory 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 yeah, Come on, speak by faith. Say, all my needs are about to be met. He's about to fill me up. He's about to quench my thirst. He's about to answer my questions. He's about to reveal his plan. Yeah. That's why I'm still in the land of the living. Come on. Come on, we're about to move. But I need you to open. You lost some things during the pandemic, but you're still in the land of the living. I need you to open your mouth and speak that thing. All of my needs are about to be met. My questions are about to be answered. My mystery is about to be solved. Yeah. My questions are about to be answered and my mystery is about to be solved. Come on, we gonna move. You can be seated. some traps but you escaped them and you've made it to the well that never run dry come on open your mouths and say all my needs are about to be met all my questions are about to be answered and some mysteries are about to be solved we honor the Lord today and we're grateful um, the earth is opening some of y'all got restraints on every, you release everybody but the house of God. I need you to be okay. We're going to be all right. Come on, everybody say, we're going to be all right. Amen. If you pray right, 
um, we're going to do some invest some inspections on our new building coming up in the next two weeks. And if everything goes as expected, we will have occupancy of our new facility, which means that more than likely, not more than likely, in June, we will be having services at our new building. Can y'all release a praise that he finished what he started? He finished what he started. Hallelujah. And I don't know about you, but I've learned some things in this season. I've learned some things. Who I was before the pandemic is not who I am after. How many of y'all know that you have evolved during this season? And one of the things that we felt led to teach on this month was, where am I? And if anything, you need to be alert and aware of your own present um, location. You can't rely on people to tell you where you are. It's important that you know where you are, not just physically, where am I spiritually? Because I don't want to go through all of this and miss the mark. In this, we talk from the parable of the sword. We told you that a parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. We taught you that Christ taught a total of 36 parables. Um, theologians say that he literally taught between a third and a fifth grade level because he wanted to make sure that everybody got it. Can I please beg every teacher, preacher, apostle, prophet, break this thing down that the simple person can understand what you are saying. Do not impress yourself and cause me to lose my soul. Come on here. In the parable of the soul, we taught you this month that he said that the soil went out, the soil was good, the seed was good, but the dirt was different. And everyone under the sound of my voice, you need, I don't care how dressed up you are, you came from dirt. It's a dirty situation up in here. We taught you that, watch me, the first one that he, the seed fell on the path. Thus, those that can sit under the word, but you never get it. There's some people that can sit in the house of God and they're the pathway people. They'll never get it. They'll never be convicted. They'll always do whatever they want to do. They'll never change. Let them stay in the path. You just stay out the path. Then there are those that fall among the rocky. That's those that look deep from the waist up. They sound good. They look good, but they have no root. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to look like I got it together. But then beneath the surface, I'm all jacked up. I don't want to be a fake. I don't want to be a phony. I want to be real. Is there anybody that just want to be real? I don't want to come out acting like my marriage is good, but it's on. I don't want to act like I have money when I'm really broke. And you call that walking by faith. Stop. Then it's those that fell among the thorns. Two things choke it. The worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth. Two things can choke the word up out of you. The worries of this life. I need everyone under the sound of my voice and I need you to say, if you believe that God is able to do anything, by faith, I need you to say, I have no worries. Come on here. Come on, I need you to say that again. I have no worries. I'm not worried about my children. I'm not worried about my marriage. I'm not worried about my job. I'm not even worried about how my rent going to be paid because I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread. All my needs are going to be met, even my job situation. Come on here. Your business is going to be well taken care of. Open your mouth and let the devil in hell know. I'm not losing another night's sleep. I'm not going to grow another gray hair worrying about something that I can't change. I need you to open your mouth and speak this thing because when you speak it, it's going to become your reality. Open your mouth again and say, I have no worries. the 
us are well. And if you're not careful, you'll chase money more than you chase God. And as much money as you've had, you have nothing to show for it. <laughs> so you have to make sure that money doesn't become your everything. You just can't move because they offered you money. You just can't up and do what you want to do because you, when you do that, you take on the spirit of the harlot. All they do is take money to make you change. Come on, let's go. And then he said, those that fell upon good soil. Now, please pay attention. Good soil means this. Listen to this. That everybody's not going to produce the same thing, but we're going to produce something. Some going to produce 30. Some going to produce 60. Some going to produce 100 fold. Watch me. And you can't wait on somebody to tell you if you're producing or not. You have to be able to look at your life and say, listen, I might not be 100, but I ain't at zero either. I might not even be 60. I might be 10. But if I don't know nothing else, I know I am not who I used to be. Is there anybody that can see progress in your life? Come on. I don't care if it's just one inch of progress. At least you're not in the same spot that you used to be in. So now let's talk about seasons. Let's talk seasons. I don't want to miss my season. I don't want to be walking around with summer clothes on in the winter. And I don't want to be walking around, watch me, in the wintertime with some shorts on and some flip-flops. I want to make sure that I am in my season. And I'm not going to let nobody stop me, look at me, from enjoying my season. You better hear what I'm trying to say to you. I went through too much hell to get to this season. And there's some people that wish they could be alive. I'm, I made it through a pandemic. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm going to give God glory. I might not have everything I want, but if, if I can't do nothing else, I can thank God that I have made it to a safe space. I need you to open your mouth and say, it's my season. say that again it's my season and I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it don't rush my season either come on here let's talk come on please hear me today please hear me today you have to know where you are and what season you're in and Ecclesiastes the Bible says something amazing look at the screen you can see it there is a time for everything not just a time and a season. If it's a season, it's not just a day. It's some months. It might be some years. Oh my God. In, in, in the book of Judges, he said, and he gave them a season of peace, which means that they had no battles. Can you imagine waking up and having nothing to fight against? season of silence where well, you ain't got to hear nobody talk crazy. A season of silence where the enemy not even talking to your spirit no more. Come on, anybody ready for a season of silence? For there's a time for everything and a season and a season for every activity under the heavens. What season are you in right now? And what are you doing in this season? You've got to hear me. Seasons question, come to bring shifts. Question, what are you doing in this season? Stop. Are you enjoying it? Are you in it? Or are you too busy focusing on your past season? I need, I'm going to make y'all talk today. Why are you making us talk so much? Because God has heard your complaints for a year in your house. That I got to get your positive words to outrun your negative words. And one statement can flip your whole life. 
I need you to open your mouth and say, it's my season. And it's about to be productive. So let's go to another parable in Matthew 13, starting at 24. And Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom, the kingdom of heaven is like a man, a man who sowed, who sowed in his season good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, while everyone was sleeping, there's always going to be an enemy that's going to try to do something in your season. His enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. The owner, the owner's servants, the servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? If you notice, this is the first question. And if you pay attention, he never answers him. Please pay attention. To some things you have to know that you don't have time to answer. I thought you was a prayer warrior. Mm. I thought you was a worshiper. Mm. I thought you were healed. Mm. I thought you was at peace. Mm. I'm not going to even entertain you or give you any of my energy or my conversation because I know who I am and I know what I have coming. Come on, let's talk for a minute. Second question, where then did these weeds come from? We're going to deal with that. I can't stand people that are so busy monitoring your field that they're not paying attention to their own field. Let's talk. He was very smart. I know what I sow. And whatever you're looking at, I didn't sow that. An enemy did this. I know what I sow. So whatever you're looking at, if you're looking at the bad, that don't belong to me. And there's some things that the enemy's trying to present to you. I need you to return to cinder. Come on here. Depression don't belong to me. Sadness tried to get me, but it don't belong to me. Come on. Anybody know who you are and know what you've been releasing and know what you're supposed to? I need you to open your mouth again and say, this is my season. The servant asked him, third question, do you want us to go and pull them up? Very sharp answer, no. For those of y'all that have problems saying no, you're going to mess up your season. No has to be a part of your vocabulary. You must say no in order to, you must say no in order to secure your future. <laughs> Come on, let's just practice. Can I borrow some money? Because you know they're not going to pay you back. Can I live with you? Oh, you said that real loud. <laughs> Can I drive your car? I'm going to give you another chance because you know they don't have enough to carry your present. How can they handle your future? Will you marry me? <laughs> Some of y'all are like, I'm not saying no. I'm going to help them become who they're supposed to become. I'm going to move on. And he answered, because while you are pulling up the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, you stay in your place, and I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring them into the barn. Where basically, I can get what I planted. Three questions. I want to ask you a few questions here. Who are you? Who are you? Question, what have you released? What have you sowed? What has come out of your mouth? What have you sowed in the spirit realm? What have you sowed in the natural realm? What have you sowed in your flesh? Question, what are you expecting? Because if you sowed something, you should be in the seat of expectation. 
what are you doing while you wait? Because you can't just sit and wait. You must be busy. Because if you're not busy, there's some weeds that would do their best to stop you. So every now and then, you just have to shift a little bit. Change your positions so that the weed can't tie you down. Ready? Now let's identify seasons. And I need everybody to be honest. Are you in the sowing season? Sowing season. What does that mean? What does that mean? In Jesus' own parable, a kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed. In other words, here's someone who's walking around and he's literally releasing. He's releasing seeds. And he's sowing good seed on good soil. He's not wasting his seed on path people, rocky people, thorn people, but he's sowing seeds in what he know can produce. <clears throat> I don't have time even now that I come back to church to sit in the path section, <clears throat> to sit in the rocky section, <clears throat> or sit among the thorns. I need to be around people that are really to release some seeds of praise. Because when we think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for us, we just give good. I need you to make sure you in the good section up in here. You ain't got to beg nobody online. Don't play with me. Zoom, don't play with me. I need some of y'all that know that you've been releasing prayer. You've been releasing worship in your house when you didn't have any praise team. You were still giving God glory. You were doing your best to hold on and you've been sowing seeds telling yourself it ain't gonna be like this always. My best day are ahead of me what the devil meant for evil God don't get the glory out of it I need those of you right now come on here I need you to sow some seeds right there go go sow a seed of praise so just start sowing just start sowing come on here I sow seeds in prayer I prayed for myself I prayed for other people I spoke life I began to believe that God was going to do something Come on here, I'm sold. I gave my tithes, I gave my offering. Come on, come on here. Come on, I'm sowing. I helped somebody. I was a blessing to somebody that needed a blessing. I paid somebody bill. I encouraged somebody. Come on here. I served, I served. I gave. So. He giveth seed to the sower. He giveth seed for you to release it. Ready? Stop. So while you're sowing, pay attention. While you're sowing, while you're sowing, while you're sowing, the Bible says an enemy came. Pay attention. An enemy came. A good sower doesn't have time to just be sitting up looking for the enemy. I'm too focused working on my field so I can get what I have. I know the enemy going to try it. Watch me. But I have, he give a seed to the sword. While I'm sowing, the thief cometh. The thief cometh. The thief cometh. The thief cometh to do what? To steal, to kill, and to destroy. So the thief want to come and open up another bag of seeds. But these seeds don't produce what I release. These seeds are really out to destroy what I release. Please pay attention. The Bible said while everyone was sleeping, what did he do? He sowed his seeds and then he left. Stop. I need you to stay focused on your sowing. Don't worry about the enemy. Let the devil be the devil. You just monitor your seeds and keep expecting something great to come out of your situation. Come on here. I don't have time to hear any negativity. I'm too busy monitoring my seeds and I sit in the seat of expectation. I believe that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what God has in store for me and I live in a life that I have to keep Keep sowing because once I reap, he's going to prune it and make it better and make sure that I keep releasing. Watch me. Keep releasing. Keep releasing. Keep releasing. Keep releasing. Keep releasing. 
Keep releasing. Keep releasing. Don't worry about the enemy. Just keep I'm in my sowing season. I'm in my sowing season. I'm in my sowing season. Lift your hands and sow some worship. Lift your hands and sow some prayer. Lift your hands and open your mouth and release some positive words. Can you release some positive words? Can something positive come out of your mouth? Go, 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 go. I'm in my sowing season. I'm in my sowing. I'm in my sowing season. I'm in my sowing season. I'm in my, I'm praying now, but I'm going to get it later. I'm in my sowing season. I'm giving now, believing that he going to give me increase later. I'm in my sowing season. Can I get somebody to sow prayer? Can you do me a favor? Just look at your neighbor and say, I'm about to pray for you right now. And I need you to intercede for them just for like 10 seconds right there. I need you to sow. I need you to sow. Come on, we ain't thinking about no devil. We ain't looking about no enemy. We in my sowing season. I'm in my sowing season. I'm in my sowing season. But the thief coming. Forget the thief. Ah, forget the thief. I'm paying attention to the seeds that I am sowing. Forget who don't like me. I am too busy focusing on what I am sowing. Forget negativity. I am too busy. I'm in my sowing season. I'm in my sowing season. And when you are a sower, you look for every t every opportunity to release. When you are a sower, you look for every opportunity to release. If you give me a praise break, I'm going to take full advantage of it. If you call a prayer meeting, I'm going to take full advantage of it. If I see that you need a breakthrough and an answer and I got it to give it to you, I'm in my sowing season. I need those of you that know that God put a seed in your hand and gave you the ability to release it. I I need you to give me 10 seconds of worship right there. I'm in my sewing season. 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 I'm in. You can't pay me for what I do. I'm in my sewing season. Ready? Let's shift. Let's shift, let's shift, let's shift. Oh, I see increase, I see increase. I see what you sold five years ago, just starting to come forward. I see, I can look at you now and tell what you prayed for five years ago. I, I, I'm in my growing season. 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 I, you can't tell me I haven't grown because I used to be under the dirt. But now I broke through some things that I never thought that I would be able to break through. Is there anybody? You are not the same individual that you used to be. Something happened to you in this Come on, come on, you sold. You've already sold. Now I need you to begin to change your confession. Come on. Just keep saying with me, I'm in my growing season. <laughs> How do you grow when everybody else is losing? Because they didn't sow what I sold, so they won't get what I got because I'm growing while everybody else is lacking. And when the, before the pandemic came, I was already confessing I am living and in Ephesians 3.20 for the rest of my life. Come on, everybody, open your mouth and say, I'm in my growing season. I'm in my growing season. Huh. Pay attention. Come on here. Everybody put it on the screen. Everybody say that out loud. Monitor your growth. What 
what you're doing? <laughs> I'm taking care of me. <laughs> it's called self-care. <laughs> I'm minding my own business. <laughs> what you doing? Taking some quiet time, not answering my phone right now. Come on here. What you doing? Praying, seeking the Lord while he may be found. What you doing? Doing the work that he, I'm growing. I'm hanging around people that's sharpening me and not being around nobody negative. I'm making sure I'm doing everything that I got to do to grow. I'm evolving. I'm evolving. And don't remind me of how I used to be. I knew who I used to be. I need you to see who I am right now. I want you to get this revelation. Please hear this. Ready? Everybody say, I'm in my growing season. Now, I'm going to show you how I know you've grown. Look at me. I'm going to tell you, how do you know you've grown? How do you know that you have grown? You got to get this revelation. You ready? The Bible says something carefully. It says, the owner's servants, the servants came to him and said, sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? Look at me. How do you know you've grown? People that have not grown only focus on the weeds. It's some wheat down in here, but you're not looking for the wheat. You're only looking for the weeds. You're looking for the negative. When you have grown, you learn how to minimize the negative and how to magnify. I, I need you to hear me. I need you to hear me. So I have been very open, very honest, and very transparent that this pandemic was beginning to mess me up. I found myself not evolving, not growing, not embracing what God was doing. So I went and got in counseling. Hmm. So I go to my, my last session, my therapist, I was complaining about something. He said, John, stop, stop, stop. He says, I need you to, I, I, want, I want to give you a challenge. I want to give you a, a grateful challenge. Because if you're not careful, you will focus on who left rather than who's still with you. I'm in my growing season. So I went and got the help I needed to do what I need to do to get, well, you should have just prayed that was part of my growth, but talking to somebody was part of my, <laughs> come on here, let's go. So he says to me, he said, he says, hey, watch, watch, watch this, everybody listen. He said, I want to give you a challenge. He says, every day, I want you to get up and I want you to name three things that you are grateful for. Look at me, and you can't repeat the next day. Because I have to teach you that more good is going on than your bad. Now, that's some growth. And some of y'all, you got to be careful because you came from a family and it's in your bloodline to find fault and complain. You, it is in your bloodline to be negative. But oh, you, but you told me you got a blood transfusion. You told me that you got washed by the blood of Jesus. This I recall to my mind. Therefore, have I hope. I'm going to give you an opportunity right here to do your grateful challenge. On the count of three, I need you to list one thing that you're grateful for. One, two, three. Okay. On the count of three, I'm going to give you an opportunity to repeat another thing that you're grateful for. One, two, three. I'm going to give you another opportunity. I'm going to give you a count of three. I'm going to give you another opportunity to mention something that you're grateful for. Forget the weeds. Forget who don't like you. Forget who not in your corner. Forget who been dogging you out. Forget who not with you. Forget about who quit you. Forget these trifling people that have never going to change. I need you to focus on how good God's been to you. On the count of three, I need you to release another thing that you're grateful for. One, two, three, go. Let me stretch you a little bit. Because I'm as I look in the building and I look on the Zoom and I look online, God's been too good. To, he's done so much for me. I can't even tell it all. Those of you that know another thing that God's done for you, can I give you an opportunity to be grateful? One, two, three, go. I just want to thank God for my health and my strength. I want to thank God that I'm in my right mind. I want to thank God that I got the activities of my limbs. I want to thank God that I didn't lose it in the midst of a pandemic. I want to thank God that I'm not on any kind of mental medication. I want to thank God that I didn't go deep into depression. I want to thank God that when I did go down, he snatched my behind back.
back up. I want to thank God that the devil desired to sift me as weed, but God did not let the devil have his way. Is there anybody in the building that is grateful? Oh, it don't sound like it in the building. I thought your praise would be bigger than what I see. Let me feel y'all in the, in the spirit realm. Those of you that are grateful, let your praise reflect your growth. Let your praise reflect your gratitude. Let your praise reflect the fact that you know that God's been good to you. One, two, three, go! I'm in my growing season. Done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. Come on, I'm gonna move. I'm in my growing season. I don't waste no sleep. I'm not running behind no lie. I'm not worried about what nobody think about me. I'm not struggling over my previous mistakes. It's all under the blood. I'm too busy looking for what I got coming uh, that I can't focus on what is already gone. I need everybody to give God a mature praise right here. Go, go, go. Cut the music, lift your hands, open your mouth and go. growing season. I'm in my 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 growing season. I'm not going to let nobody bring me no negative report. I'm not going to let nobody dump on my rain on my parade. I'm in my growing season. Certain words don't bother me anymore. Certain things don't get to me anymore. I've been through too much to be majoring in minor mess. I don't care who dating who. I don't care who marry who. I'm too busy looking for my own seed to grow the way is supposed to grow. Give me five more seconds uh, of you giving God a growth worship. 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 A growth. I see increase. I see improvement. I see growth. I see where I'm not the same. I see that my response is even different. I don't act the way I used to act. <laughs> I'm in my, I'm in my, I'm in my, <laughs> I'm in my growing season. If he removes something, that means something big is coming. Come on, that's a mature statement right there. That right there, all things work together for the good. I'm not going to focus on the bad. I'm too busy giving God glory over the increase. I'm in my growth season. Come on, everybody, type it on the screen. Say it out loud. I've grown. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. I've evolved. Mm. I've changed. And I'm good with my changes. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm good. I've grown. I am not the same. And I am comfortable. You too busy looking at the weeds, but I'm looking at the wheat. Because mm -hmm. I can see what you can't see. Because the weeds are blocking your view. So, for someone, for someone, you shifted from your sowing to your growing. To your growing to your growing. It take a lot to get on your nerve now. 
it take a lot to make you mad. Certain things your spouse used to do, you'd be all hot about. Now you look at them like, hmm, you'll get it later. I wish I could get somebody married to say, I've evolved. I've evolved. <laughs> I don't even let church people get on my nerve no more. I ain't got time to be sitting up arguing over stupid stuff. What, you, what, what are we talking about? We ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> Can everybody say, I've grown? I've grown. A shift. I'm in my sorting season. My sorting, my sorting is, is the painful part. My sorting. Because to be honest with you, I like some of the weed people. <laughs> Hear what I said? I didn't say I like weed. Pay attention. Some of y'all thought I was smoking. No, I didn't say I like weeds. I like some of the weed people. You want to you you have a real conversation? Because sometimes some of the weed people are more honest than the weed. Because the weed people. We don't realize had it not been for God, we would be just like. And so what the, the sorting part is, and I'll never forget this. Please listen to this. I was at a certain season in my life, and the Lord said, this is where I'm taking you. This is where you're going. He said, now I need you to check your surrounding. Because either some people that are around you, they have to change, or they cannot go with you. And here I go, but I love them. He said, then give them the opportunity to change. Show them growth, expose them to better. But it's on them. You have to hear me. And this is the painful part because he has something great for you. And he says in the sorting part, he says, he says, let both grow together. Let both grow together. Religious church people, this is when you get on my nerve. Because you see people come in here that look like weed. They even smell like it. And you got your nose up judging them. You judging how they look, how they sound, what they smell like. He said, leave them alone. Leave them right where they, where they are. Because, because their chances of getting it together are better in the house than outside the house. Oh, y'all ain't gonna say nothing to me now. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing to me now. And somebody sit next to you and you got that dark city to scoot your behind over. What if the Lord had moved over when you tried to get close to him? Had it not been for the mercy and the grace of God? Oh my God. Let's talk. Let's talk. He said, let them both. For those of you all that are the servants that want to pull up the weeds. He said, leave them alone. How dare you put somebody out of a garden you didn't plant? <laughs> this ain't none of your church. This is a church of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, let them grow together. I need the poor to sit next to the rich. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. I need the free to sit next to the some of y'all looking for the wealthy community you found it you sit next to somebody who's a future millionaire they just haven't grown into it yet but you have the ability to water them and watch them be who God created them to be oh my God let them grow together let them grow together. Let them grow together. Ah, oh, you ain't got to touch somebody. Look at somebody. Tell them, I'm excited about your future. Because it doth not even yet appear what you going to be. Because what you do in these 10 years, remember the prophecy at the beginning of 20, oh my God, 2020, what you do in these next 10 years is going to set you up for the rest of 
your life. Who am I talking to? And I'm ready to grow with you, baby. I'm ready to see you be everything that God called you to be. Look at somebody tell them I'm excited about your future. Some of y'all trying to figure out why they won't call you. Some of y'all trying to figure out why they left you. He said, let the two grow together. He says, watch this. He says, and at, the t- at that time, I will tell the harvesters, first, pay attention. Now leave the wheat alone. Leave the wheat alone because it has not reached its full potential. So keep it in the dirt. But collect the weeds. Tap them, watch me, in bundles. Watch me. me. Now, it would be good if if the weeds would leave one at a time. But God say, watch me, because every weed got a collection. Every weed got a cousin. Every weed got a friend. Every weed got a posse. And you got to get ready because if you can't, watch me, they can't be your friend if they don't like you. That's weed behavior. You got to cut me, but I've never done anything to you, but because they told you they don't like me, now you going to cut me? That shows that you don't have growth. That shows that that is weed. So God got away. God got a way of reaching in the midst of your growth and pulling up what needs to be removed. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. He got a way. Watch me. This is painful because there was a part of you that became dependent upon them. There was a part of you that felt like you needed them. And there was a part of them that they had wrapped their roots around you. But God got a way of going in and starting to separate. Before he even pulled it up, he goes around it and starts separating. And some of y'all have begun to feel distance from certain things and certain people. And you are in your sorting season. Certain things that used to make you happy don't make you happy no more. Why? Because God's begin to sort you and separate you. And then he begins to pull it out, watch me, and begin to remove, watch me, watch, this is the sorting season. This is the part that hurts the most. Because watch me, it can't come back. It can't come back. It must be burned. It must be set on fire, never to come back into your life again because it did not take advantage of the time that it had with you. Oh, y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. And there's somebody, oh my God, oh, y'all better keep up with me now. Because why you in here, let's go. Follow me, camera, let's go. God has made them leave his house. They're not on your praise team no more. They're not a part of your team no more. They are gone. But what you going to do while they're gone? What you going to do while they're grown? What you going to do while they're gone? Uh-oh. Gloves off. Uh-oh. Let's leave them on for a minute. Okay. Let's put it up. I got a void. I got a void. It's a void now. We're just going to water where it seems to be empty. And you're going to begin to see things that you've never seen before. I'm about to... Uh, okay. Just give it time. Just give it time. Just give it time. But why are you waiting? Start another plant. Start growing something else. Come back and check on what you've already got. You're going to begin to see growth. What is this? This is called, pay attention, this is my reaping season. And I came to let some of you all know the earth is about to yield what belongs to you. Hear me clearly. Some of you all have already forgotten about the seeds that you sown five years ago. But God told me to tell you it's now about to surface. Some of you all have already been living off of your reaping. If you know that I am talking to you, I need you to get on your feet in this building. If you are as 
it's home, I need you to begin to lift your hands because it is your reaping season. I've sowed, I've sowed, I've grown, I've grown, I've been sorted, I've been sorted, I've been sorted, and now it's time to reap, 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 and now it's time to reap. Prepare for your reaping. Prepare to receive. Prepare to receive. Prepare to receive. Lift your hands for five seconds like you are ready to receive. To receive. To receive. I've made it through my sowing season. I made it through my growing season. I made it through some of the most difficult thing, my sorting. When I make you release some people that can't work for you anymore, Lynn, because they were weeds in your shop. Lynn is hearing, Lynn, Anna and I have been friends over 30 some years and we were at St. James nobody knew that Lynn was homeless he was literally homeless and would go to hotels and walk the hallway waiting on people to put trays outside to eat and one time he was hungry he went and just took some lunch meat then something ended up on his record he applied for a job and he kept bringing up some lunch meat some lunch meat some lunch meat he started washing hair then he started twisting hair and he was working with somebody just twisting people's hair working at their shop but he kept coming to church kept talking to the right people kept getting watered and he said, I think I can own my own shop. He opened his shop, Lockology. And the next thing you know, he's not homeless. He lives downtown. Stop. Uh-uh. You're going to hear all this. He lives downtown with the view of the lake and a view of the city. He drives one of the best cars. He dresses in a way that I cannot stand him. <laughs> and now he's in his reaping season. Stop. But there's always some weed, some weeds in his shop to the point that some of them begin to try to break him down and make them think that he was going to lose his garden. And some of y'all, you thought you were going to lose. You've just been sorted. How you handle your sorting determines what you got coming in your reaping. Saying to me, y'all not saying to me. How you handle your sorting? You want my truth? You want my truth? This pastoring stuff. I love it, but I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Because you're so open to people to treat you any kind of way. Those that say I'm with you, but then they go on. Those that handle you and then mishandle you. Those that honor you and then dishonor you. Those that, that trample over you. Those that get what they want for you. And then when you won't give them no more, then they leave you. And he's like, ah! And there's a part of you that says, I ended up in counseling. And it took a therapist to tell me, be grateful. Because if you handle your season of being grateful, then you begin to see how God's really been good to you. My wife is in the back. 
When I met Anna, she was living in a one-bedroom apartment with a chair that she had found in the alley and had threw a sheet over it to make it look good. She had went through a divorce and told him, keep everything. I don't want nothing. I just want my freedom. But when I saw her, I didn't see all of that. The first time I got a number, I ran out to the car and told my friend, I just got my wife's telephone number. I'm joking, not knowing I'm prophesying. They said, what's her name? I said, her name is Anna Parrish, but it's going to be Anna Hanna. And we all fell out laughing in the car. We all fell out laughing in the car. And here she was, went through a bad divorce, lost everything. IRS coming after her because of that. But then here I come to fill the void, to make sure that you never have to want for another thing in your life. I live to make you happy, girl. And you ain't never got to worry about me cheating because I only want you. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. What am I trying to say to you? Stop, stop looking for the weeds to come back and be open for the wheat. So you can grow together. Lift your hands. Everybody open your mouth and say, my best days are ahead of me. Come on, I need, I need these words to come out of your mouth. I wish Charlotte, 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 your best days. Your cleaning service. You work in the field now, but you'll have to sit in the watchtower later. Everybody open your mouth again and say, my best days are ahead of me. Jessica, all things are now ready. Everything's going to clear up, Jessica. Everything is going to clear up. Kim and Kevin. Eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard what God got in store for you all. You're going to be light in the midst of darkness. Everybody lift your hands and encourage yourself in the Lord. My best day. All your help is coming. Everything you need is coming. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Pastor Granberry. Lift your hands. Know that your best days are ahead of you. Come on, a few more seconds, a few more seconds. I need you to encourage yourself in the Lord. Come on, Glenda. Open your mouth again. Come on, Tom. Open your mouth again and say my best days. Genesis 6 and 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Terrence, whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. I need you to know your reaping season is closer than you realize. But I need to hear the praise of the harvesters. We walk by faith and not by sight. 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 It does not yet even appear what God is about to do in your life. Those of you that God kept in the land of the living, he kept you alive. You did not die. You did not die. You are still in the land of the living. Why did God leave you here so that you could sow, so that you could grow, so that you could sort, so that you could reap? I need you to sit in the seat of expectation. Open your mouth. Open 
your mouth. Come on, Facebook. Come on, YouTube. Come on, those of you that are on Zoom. I need you to release a praise right here. I need you to sow a praise in what's about to come in your direction. I need you to sow a praise in what's about to come in your direction. I need you to sow a praise in what's about to come in your direction. A house is coming. A door is opening. A job is coming. An opportunity is coming. Your name is about to be released. Your increase awaits you. Increase awaits you. Everybody that had any kind of sorting going on, it's been hurting. I need you to replace it with a praise. Go, go. All things are now ready. All things are now ready. I call God to fill every void. I call God to meet every need. I call God to answer every prayer. I call God to meet every need. I call God to fill every void. All things are now ready. Release the praise like your best days are ahead of you. It's getting ready to happen. Hey, Kendall, it's getting ready to happen. Hey, Kendall, I wish you could find somebody that could water you where you at. Look at somebody and encourage them. I promise you. I promise you. It's your reaping season. I can't do this the way I want to do it. It's your reaping season. I'm so glad you didn't take your life. I'm so glad that you didn't backslide. I'm so glad you made it into the house. I'm so glad that you kept coming. I'm so glad that you kept praying. I'm so glad that you kept believing. I'm so glad that you didn't throw in the towel. I'm so glad that you stood still. I'm so glad that you're still alive. It's your reaping season. your hands and tell the Lord, thank God I'm alive to receive everything that he has for me. <laughs> thank God I'm alive. Please say this. To receive everything he has for me. So much to look forward to. One bad day don't mean a bad year. <laughs> Take the day, because I got a month to make it better. <laughs> Who did I just say something to? Lift your hands and say, I'm grateful. Come on, lift your hands and say, I'm grateful. Erica, can you come? Erica. Come on, everybody. Have a moment of gratitude. Please, please do what I told you to do. I need you to have a moment of gratitude. Lift your hands and worship God right there. Go.
But what? Present your life in a praise right there. I don't know what to tell you. It could have been me. It could have been me. Outdoors. Outdoors. With what? With no food. And what? And no clothes. Or what? With a what? With a tragic But you what? But you didn't see fit To what? To let none of these things But Cause every day by your power What are you doing here? Keep on, keep on keeping me What you gonna say? give you an opportunity to represent your house. I'm going to give you an opportunity to represent your story, your testimony. I'm going to give you an opportunity to give God the best praise you have. One, two, three, go! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, we about to leave in a few minutes. But I get the Lord say, I need you to water this. I'm about to give you increase. I'm about to let some things pop up that you didn't even know you had coming. It's your reaping season. Weeping may endure for a night, but it's your morning time. Everybody, clap your hands and release the best praise they got right there. Go! Done so much for me. I can't even tell it all. Done so much for me. I can't even tell it all. Protect me from danger seen and unseen. Made a way out of no way. Gave me the plunder of the land. Made the earth yield what belonged to me. Brought my name up where I didn't even expect it. Binded the devil on every hand. Kept me in the land of the living. Didn't let sickness get on me. Hid me from the reach of the devil. You better make your own list. Yeah! We gotta go, don't we? And I wish I would let a weed person tell me I can't praise my God. Cause when I think of the goodness of Jesus, wish I would let a weed person tell me it don't take all that you don't know what I've been through you don't know how many seasons I had to come through we out of here now y'all I gotta pray come on we gonna move 
Just start tapping yourself. Say, God's been good to me. God's been good to me. And the half ain't even been told yet. Because I'm in my reaping season. We got to go, though. I made it through the sorting. I made it through the pain. Come on, we gonna move. Come on, y'all, look at somebody and say, God's been good to me. More than I could ever express. And what he fit, what he started, he gonna finish. 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 We gotta go. There's someone watching me. There's someone watching me. Someone watching me. You can't do this without God. Everybody have a seat. You can't do this without God. You cannot do this without God. You need God like a fish need water. And you know I'm talking to you. There's going to be a prayer that's going to come up on the screen. I'm going to need you to pray that prayer. Then I need you to text the verse New Life to 313131. There's someone in this building, you need to rededicate your life back to God. There's someone in this building, you need to know the Lord as your Savior. Come on, everybody, tap yourself and say, God's been good to me. And I'm in my reaping season. I made it through the hurtful part. I made it through the tears. I made it through the worst days of my life. It's time for me to get my basket ready. I wish I was in the building with people who were expecting a miracle. Yay! Y'all gotta forgive us. Somebody been waiting on a year to get in this building. You better leave them alone and let them have a moment. Come on, y'all, we got to go. I've had some good days and some bad days, but I won't complain. Come on, we got to go. Everybody say, I've had some good days and some bad days, but I won't complain. God's been good to me. Come on, y'all. We got to go. God's been good to me. God's been good to me. In the midst of everything. And I got some more on the way. And I got some more on the way. Some more on the way. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with me yet. The table is spread, and the peace of the Lord is going on. Let's stop. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. Can we stop? Pastor, can you tell him to stop? Turn that machine off. Come on, on your way to the seat. Let's prophesy out of one another. Touch him and say, by before the year is out, you gonna see what I reaped. Hey, shake it. Rosotoraba, batataraba. 
before the year is out. You're going to see what I've been praying for. We got to go, y'all. Danny, 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 Danny. Danny. nothing yet I sold I grew I sorted and now I'm reaping everybody know you in your reaping season lift your hands and worship God for five seconds God please Jamon Jamon stop come over there Danny. All right. I'll let. Okay, we're going to shout this out. Get this out of your system. I'm going to give you 20 seconds. Please take advantage of your 20 seconds. If you at home, get up at your seat. And go for broke for 20 seconds. Cause this is your reaping season. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. 
it down. Everybody in the building, sit down. You waited, you reaping. 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 You waited, you waited. You waited, you waited, you waited, you waited, you waited. You gon' see it, you gon' touch it, you gon' experience it. You waited, 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 you waited. Lord, that's the keyboard player. That's the keyboard player running what is going on in here he waited he reaping you waited it's gonna happen let's go y'all can we stop please it's my reaping season It's my reaping season. We got to go, y'all. It's my reaping season. I'm ready for my keys. I'm ready for my new position. I'm ready to see a difference in my house. I'm ready to see a difference in my house. I'm ready to see a difference in my children. Hey! We out here now. It's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. Stay in the seat of expectation. Up your face. Eyes haven't seen. Can we stop, please? Come on, y'all. Can we stop? Danny. Danny. Stop. Lift your hands and worship God that you made it to your reaping season. You've sown. You've grown. You've been sorted. The only thing left is reaping. It's your season. That's all that's left. Prepare to receive. Hey, Masaya. Hey, Randa, the Bosiki, and the Masanda, the Bosiki, and the All right, let's go. Come on. Let's get our tithes and our offering. Because we keep sowing. We keep sowing. We keep. Because every time I reap, I sow. Every time I reap, I sow. Every time I reap, I sow. If I don't sow, I cut the process off. And I have to keep it flowing in my life. I want you to get your tithes ready. I've already given mine. And there's some of you all I need you to, this is the last Sunday of this month. And it's my reaping season. For those that can sow 50, can you sow that? And in the comment part, put my reaping season. It's my reaping season. Oh my God. I've sown. I've grown. I've been sorted. The only thing left is to reap. And I made it to my reaping season. How do you give? You can text and give. Text the verse NOCSE to 31331. 
Nope. Seven, 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 my reading is right. Let me look. I'm so off right now. 77977. Seven, seven, seven. I'm sorry. You can text the words NLCSC to 77977. Seven, seven, seven. If you want to write a check and mail it in, you can write it. If you're on our app, you can give. But everybody, I need you to sow whatever you can. And I, I need you to identify it. This is my reaping season seed. It's my reaping. All I need you to know now is just stay in the seat of expectation. You've made it to the best part of this. Oh my God. Did you hear what I just said? You made it to the best part of this. Come on, get your seat ready. Get your seat ready. Those online, can I get you to get your seat ready? Everyone, I beg you, don't stop sewing. You got to sew. If you don't sew, you cut it off. You cut it off. And I got to keep this thing flowing. Because every time I reap, I sow. Every time I reap, I sow. Every time I reap, I sow. And even the more I sow, I grow. And the more I grow, he sort. The hardest lesson is what my previous COO Charles taught me. The higher you go, the thinner the air gets. Because everybody can't handle that height. But I have to be okay with that. Everyone get a seed in your hand. Lift it up to the Lord. Repeat up to me. I'm a tithe and a giver. And I am blessed beyond measure. I have more than enough. I'm living in my overflow. Come on, confess that. I am living in Ephesians 3.20. How long are you going to live it? For the rest of of my life. You can sow your seeds. If you're in the building, if you order check it or have cash, if you put it in the envelope, there's a safe in the back. You just deposit it right in that safe on your way out. For those online, Bible study on Tuesday, Bible study on Thursday, all of that is still in place. We're grateful that God has used our house to be a blessing to the community and to our church. Last week, we had the vaccination bus that gave out the Pfizer and the Johnson. This past Friday and Saturday, we gave out the Moderna God has used us, amen. We want to be that light in the midst of the community. Some of y'all have been vaccinated. Some of y'all have not been vaccinated. Nobody can tell you what to do with your body. We just tell you be safe. You hear what I just said to you? Be safe and protect those around you. God bless you all. We'll see you online. God bless you. Take me off. Zoom. Holla. Deuces. Y'all know we can let more people in.